Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you'll learn how to design concrete shear walls in RAM concrete. After the shear wall criteria is specified, your properties are assigned to your section cuts, and your load combinations are generated, you are now ready to design your concrete shear walls. Through this video, we are going to show you how to perform the design, review the results, and assign some manual bar patterns or reinforcement, and then we'll show you how to complete that design. To perform the design on the concrete shear walls within RAM Concrete, we're going to go to our process menu and then select Design All. After the design is complete, we can go ahead and click Close. Through that design process, what RAM Structural System did is it checked each wall design group and each section cut within that wall design group, along with any coupling beams that you may have assigned. After the design is performed, each wall design group should be reviewed using the View Update tool to ensure that no design warnings were generated through the design process. We're going to start with wall design group number one and then we're gonna work our way around the structure. If I go up to my menu again, I'm gonna select Process, followed by View Update, and then I'm gonna click on Wall Design Group number one. Here I'm gonna notice a lot of information is now gonna become available to me. I have information on axial flexural information, shear, reinforcing, boundary elements, and also design warnings. To get any information on any specific section cut, I would just click on the section cut over in the window at the left-hand side, and that will give me all of their values, along with any reinforcing requirements that are at that particular section cut. So here's a horizontal one, and I can also select one of the vertical section cuts and see what their reinforcing is as well. I'm also going to notice this Design Warnings tab. Now for this particular wall, our Design Warnings tab is empty, and there are no symbols within this tab. There's no warning symbols. If warnings or errors were produced, there would be a symbol up in this tab, and we'll see that on another wall design group later on. But it's very important to click on each wall to check to see if that symbol is there to see if you have any warnings. At this point, we're done reviewing this wall, so we'll go ahead and click on the Close button. We will now review wall design group number two. When we click on this wall design group, we're gonna notice one thing pretty quickly, is that we now have a symbol next to our design warnings tab. This means at least one section cut within this wall did produce a warning. As we look over at the 3D view of this wall, we'll also notice that our coupling beams are in red, indicating that they have failed their code check requirements. Let's first review our coupling beams. As I click on each coupling beam, I can review all of their information. And the main tab I'm gonna be looking at is my coupling beam tab, and I have my properties, my reinforcing, and my design results. And I can see for this coupling beam that my interaction ratio is greater than 1.0, which means that it's currently failing. It's actually failing for axial flexural and for shear. If I also selected my Design Warnings tab, I would get a lot of information about how this reinforcing is just not adequate. So let me return to my coupling beam area. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to increase the size of the reinforcement to see if I can get a passing design. 
Remember, the coupling beam information was set up through the coupling beam criteria. So if I go to my typical reinforcing tab, I can see that I have three number seven bars, top and bottom, and in two layers. Let's try to increase the bar size, say, to number nines. After changing the bar size, I need to click on the Analyze button to verify that new reinforcement that I just assigned. Still in red, so let's take another look at the Design Results tab. I now see that my axial flexural information is now passing with an interaction ratio less than 1.0, but I'm still failing in shear. Let's go back to our typical reinforcing area, and let's try to increase our transverse bar sizes, say to a number four. After changing the reinforcement again, I need to click on the Analyze button to check that new reinforcing pattern. It's now turned to blue, which means that this has been assigned some custom reinforcing, and the blue color indicates that the design is acceptable. If I go back to my Design Results tab, I see that everything is turning out green, which means it's OK. I'm going to repeat this process for the other coupling beam. I'm going to select the beam. I see my reinforcement has failed. So I'm gonna go back to my typical reinforcing area. And I'm actually gonna select the same reinforcement as I had in the other beam, which would probably make it pretty easy to detail on my drawings. After I change all their reinforcement, I'm gonna click on the Analyze button again. And if I click on Design Results, it says OK. I might have also noticed that the design warning symbol has changed. So the red X would indicate when something is failing and that produces an error. The yellow triangle indicates that something had a warning. So let's go ahead and try to investigate that a little bit further. I'm going to select different section cuts and I'm going to start with a vertical and a horizontal section cut at my first floor level. I'm going to go back to my Design Warnings tab, and I see that no design warnings were produced here. Let me select a vertical one now. Again, no warnings. So now I can assume that the design warning was caused at the second floor level. So let's go ahead and select one of the horizontal section cuts at the second floor level. And we're going to return to the Design Warnings tab, and I found my design warnings. It's saying that the second story shear wall in this design group produced a warning that indicates that this area should be designed as a boundary element. To assign a section of shear wall as a boundary element, we must manually assign some reinforcement, which we'll do in an upcoming exercise. So we're gonna remember that this wall design group at the second floor produced this type of warning, and we're gonna adjust this in our manual reinforcement area. It is definitely important to check each design group to see if you have any of these types of warnings that are popping up so you can go ahead and adjust your reinforcing accordingly. At this point, we have completed our review of design group two. The only thing we have left are warnings, no errors. So we're gonna click on our update database button, and then we're gonna move on. As you move on, we're gonna review wall design group number three to see if there are any design warnings and to take a chance to review their wall reinforcement. Here we can see wall design group three has no symbol next to design warnings, so it passed all code checks and did not produce any warnings or errors. We can also review the reinforcement for any section cut. And to complete our sample model, we'd want to review all walls. So we'll finish up with wall design group four. You can see we do have some design warnings, no errors, but we do have a warning. So we'll click on that tab and we'll try to locate that warning. Again, I can see the same warning has occurred in this wall as well, where some things want to be designed as boundary elements. So to review the wall reinforcement in each design group, you could use your view update tool to review each one independently. There may be times where you want some overall information on all of your wall design groups in your model. And for that, we can utilize our wall panel reinforcement report. 
which will contain a list of the reinforcement designs for each wall panel. So we're going to go ahead and select reports, followed by wall panel reinforcing. And here I can see wall design group number one. And I can see the information that was applied to each level. And then so on for wall design group number two. For each level, I'm going to see my vertical and my horizontal reinforcement. This might be a good place to help you go to see if you are satisfied with the reinforcement that was provided to you and know if maybe you want to adjust that by assigning some manual reinforcement or adjusting your wall pattern templates. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.